What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to talk to you about what we learned today with Madden 19 as far as franchise is concerned. First of all, we learned there's going to be eight offensive schemes and six defensive schemes in the game. You're also going to have the ability to change those schemes from your team's playbook and also know through visual indicators which players are going to fit the scheme while you're scouting them for the draft. So that's all very important from a strategic standpoint. I guess it really remains to seem uh, remains to see rather how that roster scheme fit is going to impact on the field. We also learned about the archetypes they had talked about. There's going to be four archetypes for each position. Uh, the quarterbacks were listed as an example as a scrambler, strong arm, West Coast, and field general. And then obviously players whose archetype fits the team scheme will get XP bonuses so they'll actually level up faster, although there's no penalty for players that don't. And it will not actually change the player's existing ratings, which is a bit important to me. Uh, you'll also have certain players, they mentioned Antonio Brown, they're going to excel on multiple forms of offense. Now, when we talk about progression, what they've went through is they basically said the team schemes are not going to modify the players' ratings from game to game, but it will help those players build. So I think that's strange because you're not going to see that initial maybe offline or single game impact from doing that. But it does say when you put a point into an archetype, you will get a random bump across the uh, the uh, excuse me across the apportion rating. So I guess it's also going to be done in a randomized way, so that the next time you make a change or you put a skill, that it's not going to allow you to totally stack. And they actually went and said that they did this because players in online leagues would save up all their points and then dump them into one attribute like speed all at once and it wouldn't change the player's overall rating and it created an imbalance in the in the game so i guess that's their way of doing it um, they do also mention some things about being viable as far as player traits they said a player trait like clutch would not be viable and they also talked about how you are going to still continue to have this slow development, normal, quick, star, and superstar, but that superstar would only have about 40, 30 players in the league, which maybe means a team may only have one, uh, maybe certain teams may not have any at all. And the regression actually to me seems like it has been completely overhauled and that a player will work in reverse and that they won't automatically lose all their speeds for example, but they may lose other things. Like a quarterback could just lose his arm strength, which I guess in a way is good. Um, the other big thing obviously was draft day. Uh, they always kind of talk about redoing the rating, so I don't want to focus on that. Uh, but I did find it interesting that we're going to have the custom draft classes. They are going to be able to be shared, imported, created, and loaded. So you can also use the pre-made one, the, the pre -made ones that they have. Um, and they're still I mean, I don't want to say they're still saying, but they're still talking about the hidden gems that are stashed in the lower rounds. Uh, but they are going to have some new ratings. So quarterback is going to have throw under pressure, break sack, break tackle. Wide receivers are going to have short, medium, and deep route running. And offensive linemen will go through and have new ratings for those positions as well. So it might not be exactly what we're totally used to seeing when we look at the build of a player. I think that'll probably impact the Mutt guys a little bit more than the franchise guy. The draft day has apparently been totally redone. Uh, we're going to have a new draft location complete with a stage, a crowd, a cityscape in the background. When you draft a player, you'll see him come out on the stage and actually accept the jersey. When you're a coach in owner mode, you'll actually see your office complete with what they claim is idle animations, which is almost what I would assume ultimate, or excuse me, a head coach hat, where you can see the city in the background. If you're a player, you'll be in the locker room, and I think that'll probably be relatively stagnant. And I've shown some screenshots throughout this so you guys get an idea of what it's going to look like. I will say one thing. When I looked at the team depth chart and everything here, it looks like they've kind of refreshed it a little bit in the background, but it bears a striking resemblance to Madden Ultimate Team to me, so I don't know whether that's a good or bad thing, but you see just by looking at that uh, how you have the vertical zone run fitting, and then it goes through and shows you positions that you can improve. So from a strategy standpoint, I like it. It's yet to see really how it impacts gameplay, which is going to be the most important thing, uh, but obviously they've taken some time to look at how it needs to be laid out needs to be assessed into the game and needs to be easily understood. I think that's part of the problem gamers had before. There was just kind of confusion as to what some of these things were going to do and how we'd modify them. So I do like what they've done um, in a way. And I also hope, like I said, ultimately that we get to a point where it all does impact gameplay and makes sense to have it in the game itself as opposed to just being filler that doesn't tend to impact the game as much as it should. Love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you checking it out. I will be back very shortly with more commentary.